Yeah. Another nice day. Still haven't heard any news about whether or not that drone bill that's going to ban DJI products and stuff in the US is passing through yet. But with that in mind, what did I read today related to actually DJI and so forth? As you know, there are some people who are reliant on DJI products in the US and in this case, there are some people speaking out saying they still want to use their products. This one says, DJI to the rescue, US police want China drones despite Washington clampdown. The first drone that Kentucky's Hardin County Sheriff's used was a DJI Matrice 300. A local agriculture cooperative donated the Chinese-made device in 2021 to help officers track down teenagers who destroyed crops on a farm covering hundreds of acres. While officers on foot were always just a step behind, the drone was able to find and capture images of the culprits in minutes. Sergeant Travis Cook told Nikai Asia that drones quickly became an indispensable tool for the Sheriff's Department, which later established a fleet of five DJI craft They've been used as scout for potentially poisonous materials and derailed train and even saved officers' lives during a hostage situation, he said. The irony is that while police officers, firefighters, and rescue workers across the country embrace Chinese drones, Washington is warning the technology poses a material risk to the U.S. This has opened up a heated debate over local safety versus national security, complicating Washington's efforts to establish a hawkish yet pragmatic China policy. And they talk a bit about it in terms of the law. It says lawmakers in Washington introduced the Countering CCP Drones Act in March and the Drones for First Responders Act in May to ban DJI and hike tariffs on Chinese drones in general. Revenues from those tariffs would be used to fund purchase of American drones for public safety departments. And this was the interesting bit to think about I mentioned yesterday. It says the U.S. House of Representatives Armed Services Committee has included the Countering CCP Drones Act in its draft of the 2025 Financial Year National Defense Authorization Act, a significant defense policy bill. The NDAA is being reviewed by the committee this week and is expected to advance to the Congress floor. So still awaiting for the results and again with that notion where if that's true in this regards anyways, it could potentially mean no DJI products in general, cameras and so forth, gimbals. And as they say here, the Countering CCP Act could be passed swiftly if legislation is included in a larger bipartisan bill like defense appropriations, said Jack Zhang, assistant professor in the political science department at the University of Kansas, similar to how the ban of TikTok was included in the foreign aid bill in April. DGI denied allegations that the Chinese government has backdoor access to its data or the company's is unfairly subsidized. But the company is saying the DFR Act's proposal to increase taxes and eventually ban drones manufactured in China is a xenophobia wrapped inside a national security cover, the company said in a statement. Well, it's one of those things too, I guess, in these situations where you do have the mix between, for example, potentially people who are concerned about security issues versus if it's just political and it's all about money and so forth. And funny enough, there's that accusation in that regards where, hey, it's certain companies, for example, that are promoting this because they just don't like the competition. And then on the other end, from what I'm reading online, some people are accusing people of, let's just say, defending this as, I guess, a paid promoter in a sense, like for the company and so forth, or some organizations that get spiffs from the companies to repeat what they say. I don't know. Either way, who knows what's going to happen here, but that is going to be a huge, I guess, hit for a lot of people who use the products in general in the US. And in terms of drone related hardware, I guess drone counter equipment is going big too for a lot of people. And a lot of companies are taking advantage of it. This one here says, the drone launches the drone on the move for fight against unauthorized and malicious drones. D-Drone, the global leader in smart airspace security today announced the launch of its latest airspace security solution. D-Drone on the move. This solution expands D-Drone's suites of offerings for agile, modular, adaptable, battle-proven counter-drone defense for expeditionary forces deployed in volatile or high-risk environments. D-Drone OTM was developed in partnership with several D-Drone customers, partners, and world-renowned defense suppliers like Supercat, and it will be on display at Euro Saturday from June 17th to 21 in Paris. And what's the big deal? It says the drone OTM is equipped with the drone's award-winning counter uncrewed aerial systems, command and control sensor fusion platform for 360-degree drone detection. The drone tracker AI 
which has consistently performed at a 95% accuracy level for all defense civilian counter small uncrewed aerial systems test events with a direction finding within 2.5 degrees of accuracy for defeat, including kinetic defeat systems. Funny enough, they mentioned Paris, and as you guys remember, with all that Olympic stuff happening around France and so forth, there was news on how their counter drone systems aren't working very well. So it makes you wonder if this company will all of a sudden get a last minute contract, I suppose, because there's a lot of people, I suppose, looking for these types of solutions nowadays. Alright, see you guys later.